a very insightful perspective on what's happening in uh, West Asia and how it's impacting Europe and the passion with which you, you spoke, we highly appreciate. And what you said uh, at, the, at the end of your presentation and what you said at the end of uh, answering questions is so true. And that is, the European Union is a success story. It's one of the biggest achievements of humanity in modern times. That uh, countries, as you said, hated each other, that uh, killed each other's people. After the two horrific wars, they sat together and said, no, no more wars. Let's make Europe uh, a place of peace, common currency, a European parliament, almost a borderless uh, continent. Uh, these, are, uh, these are achievements, not just of Europe, but uh, achievements for the rest of humanity too. And therefore, we in India wish Europe success in, in, in preserving this achievement in the 21st century. Europe should not disintegrate, and much less should Europe become a theater of conflict again. Because that will mean, uh, you know, loss of hope for mankind. I believe that uh, this, is a, this is a time of introspection for Europe, for people in West Asia, because they have committed many mistakes themselves, uh, in addition to the follies committed by external, external players. But it's also a, a time for introspection for uh, the West as a whole, including America. It's one thing to use power to, to promote peace, to promote development and prosperity around the globe, using your own, you know, your own prosperity as, uh, as a resource, as a means. But it's quite another to use your superpower status in ways that don't bring good to the world. This does not mean that uh, the U.S. hasn't done good to the world. There are many good things about the United States. Uh, its openness, its democracy, its acceptance of pluralism, and also the fact that it, it's a place that uh, has accepted in the post-World War or perhaps the entire 21st, 20th century, uh, most number of people from around the world so these are the things that uh, United States uh, can take pride in. And these are the things that uh, people around the world admire United States for. At the same time, you know, we believe that uh, big powers have big responsibilities. And this is what brings me to Another thread that came in our discussion that is India's role in the future. India is, of course, big in population, and India is rising. India will rise even more uh, faster in the time to come. But when we talk of India's rise, we usually understand India's rise as an economic power. That's a very narrow and restricted understanding of what's happening in India. So. You know, when we talk of India's clout, now it's a, it's a power that's almost competing with China in economic performance. You know, only countries with economic clout, economic power, cannot handle the problems the world is facing. 
that's i think one of the big lessons to be learned from the from the domination of europe and the domination of america there has to be there has to be moral power so in that sense india's clout you know when we were not uh, as prosperous as we are today we were still speaking for world peace the world at least the western world was not listening to us but i can tell you that uh, a large part of the world which the west had colonized that is africa many countries in asia itself and far away in latin america people respected india because india spoke for the suffering world india spoke for peace india spoke for justice and india spoke for equality europe as you said you know europe did not take much interest in in indian affairs because that is how they thought that the they dominate the world they don't need to they need they don't need to pay attention to you know india so called poor country now india will be of course we have we are facing huge challenges of poverty of inequality but india is going to become prosperous and india will become a much more equal society but we will not play the role that europeans have played and americans have played in 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 dealing with world affairs and if we did that india will not be india india will be a replica of the western powers and we don't want to be that india has to play the role of promoting peace of bringing countries together and setting a new example of uh, of countries cooperating with each other in solving big problems of the day and you know the one of the biggest problems is what you mentioned towards the end that's climate change but climate change is not the only issue there are so many issues that we have to tackle and all this can only be tackled by remaining faithful to certain universal moral principles and uh, you know in front of us we have uh, the portrait of uh, mahatma gandhi if the world has to be saved from the kinds of wars that are taking place in syria and libya and iraq and elsewhere and the, what happened in in europe we have to follow the path of non violence we have to follow the path of universal brotherhood and it is in this way that india would like to influence the world so thank you for coming and uh, enlightening us with uh, what's happening in europe we wish you well and when i say you uh, you know all europeans and also people of turkey you know turkey is a great nation beautiful nation and we do wish that uh, turkey and syria can live together in peace turkey and russia don't go to don't go into conflict thank you very much Thanks thank you friends thank you my suitcase just got bigger <laughs> but it won't add to your yeah. the weight of your luggage yeah. is very light yeah. Yeah. and when you unpack it you will know that it's light but very heavy in its message thank you so much thank you thank you so much sir and thanks for having me i appreciate it this was a wonderful experience yeah. wonderful experience thank yeah. you thank you thank you 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 felt like home i think